Long before every indie darling under the sun was tapping their bodies in plain sight to make a connection sound too sweet, some of the greatest wrestlers of all time found ways to sneak in that exact same end result right under our unassuming noses. I'm Gareth from What Culture Wrestling, and here are 10 wrestlers who slapped the leg and you never noticed. Number 10, Kane. Though it's more broadly and infamously known today as the act of thigh or leg slapping, multiple variations of the action have been snuck into the industry for decades. One of the most iconic and largely overlooked of these came straight from the Big Red Machine's arsenal. Upon first landing in Vince McMahon's company as the terrifying brother of The Undertaker, snapping his hand into his chest slash shoulder at precisely the right angle and moment. Ensuring the camera was rarely in a position to pick up on his trick, Kane would regularly leave audiences the world over, wincing at the sight of his brutal uppercut knocking stars of all shapes and sizes flat on their asses. Being in complete control of the moment his punching hand seemingly connected with his opponent, while his other one secretly created the illusion of the piercing connection, Kane's legendary uppercut became a vital part of his moveset over the years. Capable of popping crowds whilst teaming with Daniel Bryan and forcing them to quiver in their boots during his menacing early days, this special slap helped gift the former WWE Champion with the power to captivate any crowd. Number 9. Johnny Gargano Like many of his contemporaries, Johnny Gargano has found himself heavily influenced by the show-stopping finisher initially popularized by Shawn Michaels way back when. Yet, while the rest of his peers regularly and obviously slap their legs with reckless abandon mid-superkick, Gargano seems to have learned how to get away with the perfect noise without completely giving away his physical process. Now, the current North American champion is not perfect by any means. Like any of the stars on this list, if you look hard enough, you'll probably spot him giving his trusty thigh a good old smack on occasion, as he delivers his rapid and lethal version to a usually knelt down opponent. But as he's slowly morphed into one of the black and gold brands seasoned veterans, Johnny Wrestling has become just about the best secret slapper of the leg that NXT has to offer at this moment. The star has become so confident with the skill that he often covertly deploys it when executing enziguris and drop kicks too. Again, he's not exactly a miracle worker, but he's about the closest thing NXT have got to one in the world of leg slapping at this time. Number 8. Dolph Ziggler Say what you want about Dolph Ziggler being HBK light, but that guy can deliver a thigh slap just about as perfectly as anybody in the business. And he sort of had to, right? I mean, if you're ballsy enough to take on the legendary showstopper's finishing maneuver, a move that had blown the roof off of buildings that didn't even have one, you better make sure you live up to those supremely high standards. Though he may not have surpassed Shawn Michaels in terms of career achievements or popularity, he can sit pretty knowing that he briefly added some luster back to a move that was quickly entering DDT territory. On top of throwing back his body in a similarly HBK fashion as he extends his offensive leg. Ziggles tends to always time his hand-to-leg connection just as his opponent is blocking him from the camera. But even when he is in plain view, the star moves his body so fluidly when executing his sweet chin homage that your disbelief is completely suspended whenever his opponent appears to catch an almighty boot right in their jaw. Magical stuff. Number 7. Randy Orton Want to know why Randy Orton had such a problem with the likes of Tommaso Ciampa and co overly relying on painfully obvious thigh slaps on the black and gold brand? It's because the Apex Predator knows from experience how to correctly get the secret body smacking job done. Though he'd mostly just fall back on the horrific visual of someone's head being pretty much separated from their bodies upon first introducing the punt kick to his repertoire, Orton eventually began to introduce a bit of additional audible spike to really sell the impact of the move. Determined to show the new kids on the block how it's done in 2020 though, Orton would brush off his kicking boots after some time on the shelf, frequently pulverizing legends and modern day titans alike with perfect punts made possible by his precise pats to the quad. Honestly, the performance center era of professional wrestling will largely be remembered as a dark time for all of us. But Orton's masterful ability to make each kick to the skull sound like a career ender made those lockdown nights that little more endurable. 
Number 6. Drew McIntyre It may have entered him into the secret leg-slapping Hall of Fame, but Drew McIntyre's decision to flounder less and clay more formed the building blocks for a career resurgence too. After altering a running big boot due to his 3MB leather pants being too damn tight and knocking himself out in the process, the Chosen One equipped himself with a move that would send him to the top of the industry eventually. With this jaw-dropping finisher now in his arsenal, not even being released from WWE in 2014 could keep this Scottish psychopath down. McIntyre would go on an absolute tear on the independent scene, all while honing the skill of timing and unleashing his leg slap with a speed and accuracy that regularly left audiences completely ignoring his covert ability, focusing more on the massive foot he just put through a dude's face instead. Going from strength to strength in WWE from late 2019 onwards. After finally returning to the company a few years earlier, McIntyre has added countless iconic claymores to the history books, the greatest of which resulted in a beast incarnate flying over the top rope at the 2020 Royal Rumble. Still brings a tear to my eye, you know. Number 5. Tajiri During his WWE heyday, former Cruiserweight champion Tajiri was largely known for pulling off two devastating acts. The first being blinding his opponents with a variety of colourful mists spat in their faces, which he probably would not get away with nowadays, while his other, some would say equally savage trademark weapon, came in the form of some of the most vicious kicks to have ever taken place inside of Vince McMahon's ring. Yet, had the Japanese buzzsaw not been ridiculously gifted in the art of sneakily producing a wince-inducing snapping sound whenever his foot connected with his rival's mug, that latter tool would likely have been left forgotten in the annals of wrestling. But insanely skilled he was, and convinced fans around the world that he'd quite literally just walloped his colleague in the chops, he did. Time and time again. If you needed a reminder of just how magnificently Tajiri consistently utilized the now frowned upon leg slap, the veteran also put on an absolute clinic in regards to implementing the device during his Cruiserweight Classic return back in 2016. Number 4. Bobby Eaton Jumping back now to one of the people who turned a right hand into a thing of absolute beauty during his prime years from the mid-80s to mid-90s, here we have the fantastic Bobby Eaton. What made the eventual Midnight Express members shot so memorable wasn't the fact that stars were constantly left reeling by his mighty hands though. It was Eaton's ability to secretly unleash a frightening noise as he struck his foe, capable of forcing those in attendance to believe they just witnessed a legit picture-perfect thump to the skull that made him stand out from the pack, clearly providing the blueprint for guys like Kane and other future hard-hitting stars going forward. The moment kids strategically pause their videotapes of Eaton producing the subtle slap to his chest as he simultaneously blasted a rival in the face with his right hand, changed playground fantasy fights forever. It just goes to show, body slapping definitely is not anything new in the world of pro wrestling. You could say fans have simply gotten wiser over the years, or perhaps the stars of the past was simply more well-versed in the act. I'll let you decide. Number 3. Daniel Bryan When the name Daniel Bryan is brought into a conversation about in-ring work, most wrestling fans tend to point to his blistering offense. Equipped with snug strikes and tightly performed submissions as one of the defining features of his all-round impeccable game. Yet though the leader of the Yes movement is clearly more fond of genuinely booting you in the chest or face than he is faking the action with deception, that doesn't mean the former WWE champion stays clear of the almighty leg slap completely. Most notably, Brian usually signs off his patented yes kicks with a shot equipped with the aforementioned tool. However, thanks to the equity built up from the prior very real shins to the chest of whichever poor soul finds themselves knelt down in front of the fiery face, fans are usually too engrossed in his savagery to clock the sweetly slid-in leg slap that accompanies his roundhouse conclusion to the sequence. A true student of the game, Brian clearly abides by an important life lesson when performing this sneaky slap. Let's Less is more, folks. Less is more. Number 2. Roman Reigns Though the majority of his heavy artillery merely requires a body in front of him to bulldoze for the most part, you'll probably be surprised to hear that Roman Reigns does still find himself falling back on the tried and tested body slap to really sell a number of his trademark actions on occasion. First up, taking the ball that Bobby Eaton and Kane had brilliantly ran with for so long, Reigns frequently executes one of the fiercest uppercuts any wrestler has ever brought to the table, skillfully smacking his heavily tattooed shoulder 
just as his opponent's head snaps back into next week. On top of this, one of the Tribal Chief's trademark crowd poppers also involves one of the finest secret leg slaps in the game. Upon leaving his opponent in a prone state, dangling through the ropes with their head hanging on the outside of the ring, Reigns throws his body feet first at their temple. Lovely stuff. This drive-by is made that little bit more jaw-dropping each and every time it's carried out, thanks to his decision to perform a double leg slap on his quads as he throws himself into the maneuver. A master of leg slapping too, is there anything the acknowledged one cannot do? Number 1. Shawn Michaels He's not just a sexy boy, sexy boy, I. Shawn Michaels is also responsible for just about every superkick currently clogging up the wrestling industry in 2021. It's not exactly HBK's fault though. He couldn't help the fact that he single-handedly made a lent back heel kick to the face look like the most fatal finisher in wrestling. However, his perfect execution of the match ender and the now infamous piece of percussion that went along with it was just too damn good to be left without imitation. Yeah, while many did go on to attempt to replicate the show stopper's signature shoot to skin, few have ever been able to match his ability to elegantly arch his body into the physical action whilst concurrently connecting his palm with his chaps in less than a blink of an eye. Even looking back on his work today, it's near impossible to pinpoint the exact moment Michael slaps the old leg at the climax of Sweet Chin Music in just about all of his epic encounters. So damn you Michaels for unleashing this superkick storm upon us. But also, thank you for the musical memories. And that's our list. Know of any other wrestlers who slapped the leg and we never noticed? Let us know all about them in the comments section right down below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video right here that you're watching is based on. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye.